Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the amazing Adrian Hernandez. How you doing, sir? Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, I'm excited for today's call. Dude, yeah, for, we're, uh, can you believe the year is almost over? I mean, just it just I hit can't. me as we were, dude. It's what is it, I December seventh? It's crazy. I can't. It's crazy. Every, wow. every year I do a date with Destiny and Tony Robbins, and I know it's at the you know that's like telling me the year's pretty much ending. When I got right. the the notification that it was coming up, I looked at my wife. Though, look, it's not December. There's no way. It can't December. be December. <laughs> How did we get here already? Yeah, it's been How it's been a wild year. Already? <laughs> I, I, I hope you've been keeping track of your books because if not, you you got a lot of work to do. Yeah, that's right. I can't, taxes are coming up. Taxes are coming up. Well, hey, <laughs> as we get started, uh, first thing we talk about all the time on our show is Orange County real estate. What's going on? Is it slowing down? Is it winter season popping off? What what's going on? Uh, it has slowed down since the last since the last week as far as pendings. Uh, we're only at twenty four pendings within the last seven days, um, with the total of thirty six closed, and we had a total of thirty one new active listings. Okay. That you know, looking at this, the biggest number that is uh, that is concerning that we haven't seen in the last month month and a half are the holds. Uh, and there were out of this is interesting out of the thirty one new listings, twenty two went hold. What does that mean for someone watching? So they just put the property on hold. Rather than that be, they're not thinking about, you know, they're thinking about pulling it off the market. They're not right. getting the price they want. It um, means don't they, show my property anymore. They don't want to show the property during the, uh, during Christmas, Holiday. right? Yeah. I, you know, I have several active listings, you know, in the 800 to 17 range, and they're all telling me the same thing right now. And no matter how many objection handlers we can go through, I mean, at the end of the day, that's their peace and their sanity, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So we are seeing a lot of people put their property on hold, the ones that aren't really that motivated. Um, but those that are, the houses are still selling. That sweet spot, that uh, you know, one, two to to call it two million is is still on fire. Yeah. And again, this is Orange County for folks that don't, you know, don't think those prices are crazy. That's just that's where Orange or the median price in Orange County is what one 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 two. Yeah, yeah, about say a million, about nine nine. I think the last time I looked, it was nine seventy nine nine seventy five. We'll call it a million bucks. That is the median home price. <laughs> it's still wild to think about, right? Median home price. So uh, it's curious since we're at the end of the year. I you know simply I didn't plan for, it, but we'll we'll just do it here. Let's let's rewind the clock twelve months. So it's December of twenty twenty one. Okay, we're ending the year. The market's on fire. Rates are three percent. How was last kind of end of the year? Did did the same thing happen? Were people taking them off and holding for this three weeks because of the holidays, or they were just hey in listed for two days in escrow pending hotcakes, hotcakes. Okay. Right. Absolutely. One year, one year ago from today, it was insane. You couldn't, there wasn't a house you couldn't keep on the market. There wasn't yeah. a rental you couldn't keep on the market. We have mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, you know, rental properties here in Dana and, and San Clemente that I keep an eye on. And one thing that, that we saw at that time is there were properties that were renting for six grand that are now renting for eight grand. And they got five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 applicants willing to give them a hundred thousand dollars upfront wow. in a year, two years, lump sum. Um, and I had several clients that went through that. So no, last year was, last year was insane. Now we're seeing all those houses that were at eight grand. They're now understanding the realistic numbers more like seven, six, you know, high six, because the eight was, it, it didn't make any sense. It was. Yeah. Inflated. So everything inflated. is slowing down. It was inflated. Yeah. What's this that inflation thing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then um, Orange County. I think it's a lot like Seattle because I talked to Beth on Tuesdays, you on Wednesdays. And it seemed like, I think it was June or July when rates went over 6% the first time. Yep. That really hit Orange County as well, right? Kind of whenever Absolutely. that was over the summer. Just, yeah. it, it felt like it stopped, like somebody turned something off. What it did is it stopped. Now, depending on South County and North County, if we look at, at South County for a quick second, which would be like, Irvine, well, yeah, you can count Irvine. Irvine, Dana Point, Laguna Hills, Laguna Niguel, San Clemente, right? That whole that whole South County. We saw a when interest rates went to six, seven, six and a half, we started to see the two, five, the three, the four went to a complete hole. Now, Newport Beach, North County is completely different. You're dealing with it's a completely little, different animal. Yeah. 
it's its own ecosystem. Like it has its own thing going on. So it's hard to look at, at North County and say that 6% slowed the market. There were still properties selling for 20 million, $30 million right. in Newport beach at that time. Um, okay. But if you look at South County, yeah, absolutely. That, that any, anything that was above two and a half stop, that million to two million was still a little wibbly wobbly. There were still people buying because there weren't enough. Uh, they, they were still buyers from when they, you know, when they couldn't find a home and the market was on fire. And you know what we saw, and I'm looking at this company wide. We saw a lot of gifts. We saw a lot of gifts from parents. We saw a lot of gifts. I mean, you know, from the, you know, the average income in this area is 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 pretty is is pretty, pretty high. high. Yeah. So we're seeing a lot of the families help these homeowners take care of the interest rate. Got it. Got it. And then the reason I asked that is because I think, you know, there's, there's a chance. So rates went to six in June or July. It hit the high end. People got nervous recession talk, Bob, this was the summer. Then rates came back in August. It kind of spurred some demand. Then now, then rates took off to over seven, right? We went from fives to six and a half below six now to over seven. It feels like given what's going on, I think rates will come down again today. We might be on a path where we're not only at six and a half, which this week, Wednesday, this number was reported. The average now is 6.3. We could be on a path to sub six again early in Q1, but the, it, it'll be interesting to watch because Okay, rates are down, but the threat of unemployment's higher. Recession talk is higher. It's going to, again, I keep talking about March 15th. All this stuff is noise, winter slowdown until March 15th. If you could tell me what interest rates are and where the economy is on March 15th, we, we can talk. But until then, it's just going to be a weird environment, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really going to be a coin toss, right? So. As as we always say, keep our foot on the gas, no matter what we're doing, right? So if it goes good, then great, right? If let's just say let's let's say that for some reason the they keep interest rates low and the market does, you know, see a see a surge, right? Okay, great, keep your foot on the gas. But if it but if it doesn't, right, keep your foot on the gas. That's that's the only thing we can do. Yeah, and then when I think about kind of the median home price, right? Your median's way up there. Mine's around four hundred. I still look at my environment and I'm going like, I'm only playing below the median, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm playing below the median. Uh, I'm not flipping anything luxury, right? It, in my market, 800 K and above, I'm like, not touching it, nope. not touching it, but yeah. And, and no one's, no one's touching the million dollar flips right now. No one, those, those, those properties are sitting on the market unless it is a family living inside the house. You right. we are not seeing it. And anyone who did, um, <laughs> Their ARVs were five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars more than what they thought, and yeah. it's interesting to see Zuber because a lot of them are those houses are still on the market. I I'm, I'm looking Price at them pricing. daily. Yeah, yeah, and and they're and they're just hoping. So, I I think if you are if you are in a flip right now, right, and this is really important, and I know Omar's talked about this before. Take whatever loss it is that's up front and just walk. Just just walk. Don't we'll try replenish to the capital. Thing. Get some of that capital back in the kitty. Take the L, learn the lesson. All right. It, it, I, I, I just I know, you know, I just did it in Arizona. I had no choice. Let's lose 20 now to avoid losing 120 in the future. Exactly. Right. Um, and that's then for those of you that have flips coming onto the market, if you are in that median price point, go right below what your comps are. If your comps, if your active comps are, for an example, five ninety nine, right? Go five forty nine. Go. go it, I I rather see one or two offers than chase it at at, and and we see nothing happening. This is same thing for active listings too. You know, our market in this in this south south end corridor. If you are a hundred grand over, that house is not selling, and 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 these people know it, and and they know they know where the price is going. Uh, so for you people that are listing your home, be careful too. Go under what your competition is. I don't care how nice your house is. I don't care where the travertine is imported from. Mm -hmm. Right? This is really important. If not, the house is just going to sit on the market. Yeah. So the last thing I want to talk about, uh, you know, Orange County as we head into the year. Is inventory higher today than it was last year? It has to be, right? Active inventory? Active inventory, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, active yeah. Inventory. I, I think back in January, we didn't even have two, not even two months of supply of inventory, not even a month and a half of supply of inventory. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think it's going to be really interesting. I think, I think generally speaking, active listings are going up, uh, but it's also because buyers are, you know, just, uh, demand destruction. So days on market, I think are going to, you know, th that'll be the story of 2023 is days on market, head back to normal, right? Whatever yep. normal is, right. It's not going to be yep. 13 or whatever it is. Yep. And, and we're seeing the same thing now. Av average days on market was literally like four or five days, right? right? Now we're seeing realistic numbers, 28, 29, 30, yep. 32. We have flips on the market, 32 days. Then they finally go under contract and we're under what the median is. Right. It's just, it's just going to be a norm. Situation. It'd be nice to see a normal market, not one inflated by rates and stuff. It, it reminds me of like 2015, 2014, 16, when you actually had to work to get your flip and listing sold. Yeah. I, I, I that'd be an okay year, 15, 14, 15. Right. I, yeah. I bought, I was active that year. That, that'd be all right. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. So we're, if somebody wanted to buy or sell in Orange County, uh, how would they reach out to you or follow you? Reach out to us, guys. We actually just opened a Brookshire Hathaway in Dana Point. Uh, so you can catch me on Instagram at Adrian Hernandez uh, or on YouTube at Adrian Hernandez. Just send me a DM. There you go. Thanks, buddy.